Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok Covent Garden. It is Wok Wednesday and I've got a beautiful dish for you guys. We are doing a Japanese koroke, which is basically a Japanese curried croquette. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ding! So the first thing you want to do is roughly chop your potatoes, but you, you, your potatoes need to all be the same size. We're going to steam that directly in a steam basket. I put it onto one of our school rock steam mats. You can see where to buy them here, or you can use just a bit of grease-free paper, pop your potatoes onto there, onto full steam, 20 minutes. Now, I've got some carrot and some shiitake mushrooms here. We're going to finely chop the carrot and mushrooms. My shiitake mushrooms are dry shiitake, but they've been soaked in hot water overnight, minimum an hour, I'd say, to get that to a nice soft point. Next up, straight onto the roux, because we want these things that I'm cooking now to cool down as quickly as possible. So first thing, your butter. Now, I'm on a medium heat. You're going to melt that butter through. A Japanese croquette doesn't always have to have a curry flavour to it. I just quite like this and it hopefully should ooze out a little bit more with this roux. My butter's melted and at that point you want to get your flour in. So same amount of flour to butter and we're going to just mix that through and it makes this lovely sort of almost like buttery paste that is nice and smooth. And then we're going to go for your spices. So I've got some curry powder here garam masala and some paprika for some colour and then give that a good mix again. Now with this roux, unlike using the, say, the roux for a full-on curry, I don't want it to be too thin, so I want it to be quite a thick roux. Some light soy. Most of the seasoning for our croquettes are going to come from this roux, so I'm going to put a good pinch of salt into that roux as well. I've got some mirin. And keep stirring that every time I add a bit of liquid. I've got honey here, which obviously is a bit sticky. So I'm going to go for about half a tablespoon of honey. And I've got some water here to then thin it out again. You can see now that I've got this sort of texture of a paste that has that dripping consistency that I know that when I mix that into the mashed potato, it will mix around quite uniformly. I've got this frying pan on a medium to high heat. I want a fair amount of oil in the base of my pan. Start off with just sweating my onions. Just let those sweat for sort of five minutes or so. Carrot and mushrooms. So you want to cook those through along with the onions for another few minutes. And then I'm going to sear the beef mince in here. So notice I haven't seasoned this mix. Now if I wasn't using the curry roux, then I would season the mix at this point. The peas, they've just been defrosted. I'm just going to pop them straight through, straight into that hot mix. My filling, ready. My potatoes, been nicely steamed. My roux is ready. I'm going to mix that all together whilst it's still a little bit hot so it melts through nicely. So once you've got a nice sort of uniform turmeric -y yellow colour to your mix, then you're good to go. Yeah, a good amount of the curry flavour in there, but definitely not enough salt. That's because there's a lot of potato in this. Right, my mix has had a couple of hours to cool in the fridge and it's now nice and solid. You want a, a reasonable amount per croquette or koroke. So, and I've set up here my pane ingredients. So flour, just plain flour is fine, with a good amount of salt and pepper in there. And then I've got some beaten egg and panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to go for ground balls, straight into the flour, straight into the egg, and then into the panko. Out on a tray, give them a press. Keep going until you finish your mix. So with your oil, you want to fill it sort of halfway up the wok. You want to get them in 
relatively quickly. And don't forget guys, the filling is all already fully cooked. So this is just sort of reheating what's inside. My croquettes will come out nice and golden brown and serve it with some tonkotsu sauce. My Japanese croquettes or my Japanese beef croquettes or koroke. Mmm. I've got a great base of spice, but what's most important about this is that inside is almost that potato filling, that curry potato filling, it's almost like melting inside, but it's super crispy on the outside. Mmm. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget ding, to hit the notification bell if you guys like recipes like this and you want to learn more. I'm going to keep eating. Mmm. These croquettes are a great Japanese snack. What's your favourite Japanese snack or street food that you've come across? Let us know in the comments below.